This week on Cannon Old Farm TV, Gary has an operation in a very sensitive area. Plus, we're going to look at the uh, goats with their upgraded player frame, aren't we, Rob? They're having a brilliant, brilliant time, and we've got the most amazingly dramatic carving from one of our short own heifers. I've actually seen nothing like it, and I've been farming nearly 50 years, Rob, now. Exactly. If you count when I were a toddler. Gary has got a sarcoid on his bits that we've removed once. Um, it's had a, actually it's a bit of a saga really. Um, it's had a, some rubber rings around it and it's fallen off once. It's come back a second time. Now, because these sarcoids can come back quite regularly, it's not going to be a problem that's life-threatening to him. It's just going to be a little bit of an annoyance. So it might be that we have to regularly put a little rubber ring around it. It's the equivalent, equivalent of having a bit of a walk down there that we keep having to periodically uh, remove so uh, a bit of sedation as it's not the most uh, comfortable of places for it to be and uh, fingers crossed it doesn't give me a wallet but uh, I wouldn't really blame him if he did so uh, here we go I've just been listening to Matt and he says there is a potential that Gary could kick so I think Dave if you don't mind I'll hold the front <laughs> we'll go on then. I don't mind. Thank you. But if I do get kicked, <laughs> you're in bother. Where's it going? Ah, it's just a funny angle, like. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. Dad, Come you on. move away. Hey. What? What are you getting kicked? There we go. Once we've got it through, and on we go. And then this just runs. As the blood supply is cut off, it'll slowly die off. And as it gets, as the ring shrinks in and as the pressure's on the skin, the ring will get tighter and tighter and tighter so it won't actually stay one size. The ring will constantly get smaller until eventually all blood supply is gone. It's like a little dried bit of scab and it'll just fall off then. So, uh, hi. Warts are an unfortunate problem for all and unfortunately Gary's got one in quite a personal position. So that's all gone to plan. No one's kicked. Job well done. I'm really, really pleased actually because uh, Gary is an absolute farm favourite. He's, he, of all the animals, he's, he's right up there in the top three. So for Matt to say he thinks it's something that we can manage over a period of time and that it won't affect him in the long term makes us all really happy. Right, okay. Uh, who's next? David? David. No, you? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're in the rare breeds barn. This is home to our pygmy goats. Now it's incredibly important to us to give them a really good life and uh, building them a climbing frame using recycled materials is something that I'm really, really proud of this year. They've had no end of fun on it and the visitors have had no end of fun um, watching them and the, the people will sit for hours just watching the goats slide down them, run along them and just generally have a really, really good time. And we've also had a viral video. It's been picked up by, uh, by all the, uh, the, the, the major websites and it's had millions and mil millions of views of people watching the, uh, the goat kids sliding down it. So we're really, really thrilled. Right, we've, uh, we've had a, a, a wonderful new arrival. It's the most beautiful ruby red short owned calf. Um, the mum is a wonderful mother but it wasn't the case when it was first born. We got a phone call off my dad, 12 o'clock at night, she's carving. So we went down, she, she was struggling. So we had a little look, the calf had actually got a leg back, so one leg was forward, the nose was there, so I had to flick the leg forward and get it right for carving. Then Rob came in with the, with the, uh, the carving aid and we got it out reasonably okay, but that's where the drama started. She was upset. She didn't know what to do. It's the first time she carved, and uh, it was it was quite traumatic, wasn't it, Rob? Yeah, she was. She's obviously a new mother. She'd never done it before. She saw this calf, and she 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 knew she should do something, but instead of licking it, she was butting yeah. it. So David and I had to sort of get ourselves in arms away, get the calf away from her. She just needed an hour to settle down, to for, for the oxytocin to kick in. Um, to become the natural mother that she is. She's an absolutely wonderfully attentive mum now. But at that stage, the calf was in danger, we were in danger, we had to act fast, but we had to keep our wits about us. Certainly did.
Thank you so much for watching Cannon Hall Farm TV. We really, really would appreciate a share. Or even a like. I've had a chat with Gary and he doesn't mind. You don't mind, do you? And remember guys, a donkey's for life, not just for Christmas. So have a great week. See you next time. Catch you soon. Bye bye.